just want to start with some personal thank yous to Metro Vancouver for being an innovator in green cities, to Eco Fashion Week for putting uh, green fashion on the map here in Vancouver, and to all of you guys coming here today, thank you so much for your time. Um, it feels a little bit like preaching to the choir, as I'm sure all of you guys are very well versed in these issues, and um, I feel honored to uh, speak to you. Um, for me, I've been in business for 12 years at Twig & Hottie, which is my retail store up on Main Street. We work with uh, sustainable, ethical, and Canadian-made goods. Uh, every brand in our store hits either one of those touch points, and hopefully all of them. Our house label, which we established eight years ago, does meet all of those three touch points. Um, so I work on the supply chain at the front end, working in design. So uh, what we need to address in terms of design is very much that there's waste at every stage along the supply chain. And uh, one of those major wasting issues is water waste uh, in the textile industry. So how can we address that better um, as a community of designers? Um, and then I just want to talk about my personal transition as I moved from sort of starting out and being a young independent designer and it was so fashionable and cool and um, you know going around and branding my store and um, I really hit a point where I needed to make a transition and that transition became moving from being a marketer and a designer to being an educator. And that also saw me take um, on a role in teaching here at some of the local colleges um, where I'm currently proud to be at VCAD and uh, represent my values in the classroom to the young students that are coming up and the talent that is currently being embraced. So um, yeah, so the, the supply chain wasted every stage waste prevention, um, and really what we're talking about in terms of waste prevention from a design perspective is looking at our materials. And our materials need to have longevity and they need to appeal to the consumer. Um, and the only way that we can get the consumer to embrace um, sustainable materials and uh, the colors that we can achieve in the dyeing, uh, the things that we can do in terms of design with sustainable materials is to educate them. So that's the role that I see myself filling um, is one of educator and and, um, and I think that's it for my opening remarks, and I'm just going to pass it on to Joy. <laughs>